Well, it's finally over. The Kanye West Adidas drama has finally come to an end. After a very long, messy month of bad publicity, Adidas has finally severed ties with the rapper and fashion icon Yee, formerly known as Kanye West. If you want a quick rundown on the situation and how we got to this point, check out my two previous videos on the issues right here. Adidas released a statement this morning on October 25th saying this, Adidas does not tolerate anti-semitism or any other sort of hate speech. Yee's recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous, and they violate the company's values of diversity, inclusion, mutual respect, and fairness. After a thorough review, the company has taken the decision to terminate the partnership with Yee immediately, end production of the Yeezy branded products, and stop all payments to Yee and his companies. Adidas will stop the Adidas Yeezy business with immediate Effect. This is expected to have a short-term negative impact of up to $250 million on the company's net income in 2022, given the high seasonality of the fourth quarter. Adidas is the sole owner of all design rights to existing products, as well as previous and new colorways under the partnership. More information will be given as part of the company's upcoming Q3 earnings announcement on November 9, 2022. This statement by Adidas comes after many questionable remarks made by Kanye. First on Twitter and Instagram where he made anti-Semitic remarks and was removed from both platforms. Then he was seen wearing a White Lives Matter shirt in Paris for his Yeezy collection show which was deemed as racist. Then he did an interview with Drink Champs where he suggested slavery was a choice, he called the COVID-19 vaccine the mark of the beast, he made remarks about George Floyd claiming that he died from fentanyl use, amongst other insanely wild claims. Kanye was also dropped by his talent agency, CAA. MRC Studio announced Monday they will completely be shelving a Kanye West documentary that was slated to release. Balenciaga also cut ties with him. He was kicked out of US Bank and JP Chase Morgan. And his own record label, Good Music, was also dropped by Def Jam. I'm not sure if Kanye intended for all of these corporations to cut him off, but he did finally get what he wanted. He is no longer binded by his Adidas contract. And from the looks of it, he isn't under anyone's control or contract because everybody cut him off. So what does this mean for Yeezy Shoes? In Adidas' statement, they said, Adidas is the sole owner of all design rights to existing products as well as previous and new colorways under the partnership. Looking at some of the patents that were taken out, it looks like the EZ350 patent is under Nick Galloway, who is Senior VP for Adidas' Global Design, and Yeezy slides are under Kanye West himself. Will we see Adidas release more Yeezy colorways still this year? It's very possible. Without the Yeezy line, the confirmed app is essentially useless, and we've already seen a downward trend in Adidas' stock price. They do predict to take a large hit to their net income, so it's very possible that they release a few more models that Kanye already gave them designs for. But ultimately, Kanye is the brains behind the Adidas brand. He's been such a large cultural impact, even if he sometimes acts crazy or out of pocket, you can't deny his greatness. He's won 24 Grammys and has been a huge name in the fashion industry for a long time. I'm sure he has a plan and something up his sleeve. He might be working on something behind closed doors that we won't know about until it's ready to be revealed. He might come out with his own line of shoes, his own brand to compete against Adidas or other large brands. Or he might be trying to take a step away from fashion and from the public spotlight to work on other projects. We just don't know because Kanye is so bipolar and random at all times. You ain't got the answer, Sway! I'm sure we'll find out what Kanye's plans are for the future, but one thing is for certain, whatever he ends up doing, it will not be with Adidas. What are your thoughts about this new development? Do you think Kanye has completely lost it? Do you think his career is over? What do you think the future looks like for the Adidas brand? Let me know down in the comments section below. Don't forget to check out my other videos discussing this Kanye West and Adidas drama. Smash the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on more sneaker news. Thank you for all of your support, and have a great day.